Weaver. Hey, Mr. Weaver, first of all, how's the experience going for you? Oh, it's going good. Uh, I'm really just enjoying it, you know, uh, just uh, just being able to uh, be out here with the guys and learn a lot and uh, get a lot of feedback from coaches, which is really awesome. Hey, Mr. Weaver, i got to ask this. We got the axe. Yeah. How's it feel? Uh, it, it feels great, you know, just to be able to do that for the Cal community and be able to do that for, you know, everybody's been waiting almost a decade now, so it's just good to, good to bring it back and uh, hopefully they can hold on to it this year. Evan, what's it mean to represent the University of California here this week? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, you know, we don't we don't get a lot of attention. I mean, we have a bunch of guys in the league, but we don't get a lot of attention, so I feel like we're always kind of the underdog, and that's kind of the way that we play, and uh, that, that's the way that our minds are built. And, uh, we just can't, you know, we can't wait to prove ourselves uh, s Saturday and Sunday this week. What can you take from me learned at Cal that you can carry over into the, into the NFL Combine and hopefully the NFL? Uh, I, think just, I think just hard work and, uh, you know, preparation. Uh, Coach Wilcox, Coach Sherman, Coach Reuter, I mean, they, they've really just installed, you know, how to prepare for games, how, how to get everything right and just be able to bring that into the NFL I think is going to suit me really well. What's it mean to represent your hometown? You know, it's, it's, yeah. Where did you grow up at? Uh, Spokane, Washington. What does it mean to represent your hometown and be here this week? Yeah, I mean it's it, it's awesome. Just a, a really, really small community. Uh, been getting a lot of texts, a lot of love, and uh, hopefully you know just uh, start proving a lot of people wrong on Saturday when I get on the field. Does it feel real? Maybe as a, as a youth in your backyard playing, yeah. I'm gonna play the NFL someday. I see a smile on your face, and now you're here. Yeah. Is it what's the journey like? That, that, where you were as a young youth, and now you're playing uh, yeah. NFL Combine. Uh, I think I, I think the journey's just just been wild. I mean, just uh, just a whirlwind to be honest. I've been coming into Cal. Uh, Playing for four years, I feel like uh, just yesterday I was, you know, playing pee wee football, you know, trying to trying to figure out how to play the game. Uh, now I'm here, and it's just uh, just really a blessing to be able to be in front of everybody. What do you hope to show the coaches this week? Uh, you know, just uh, just I'm a lot held a lot faster than people think, and uh, just uh, be able to, you know, get maybe top five in agility and just do my thing. And at the end of the day, the chips fall where the chips fall, and I'm not the one who can make the decision, so I'm just going to control what I can control. Last question. What's the future hold for you? Uh, I think I think greatness. I think a lot of winning. Uh, I think a lot of playing, and I think a lot of hit people hard. So I mean, that's what that's what I do, and that's what I love to love to do. Thank you. Good luck. Right, thank you. What's your favorite sports memory that happened before college? Favorite sports memory? Oh man, that happened before college. I think probably winning the state championship my senior year. Um, just uh, just uh, being able to do that with the guys that we grew up with. You know, a lot of guys who, who just uh, you know we never really saw ourselves doing that growing up. And, uh, be able to experience that with a lot of lifelong friends. Any other memories besides football, outside of football? Favorite sports memories? Oh, man. Uh, you know, uh, this one time uh, in first grade, I had, a, I had a quadruple play, believe it or not, in uh, baseball. Not really possible, but, you know, caught a wide drive at shortstop. Uh, tagged, uh, tagged a dude who, who was on third. Uh, so there's two guys on third, tagged both of them. So one of them stepped off, tagged that dude. The other one stepped off, tagged that dude. The dude on first tried to run to second, ran over, tagged him. Four outs in one, in one play. So. It might be the first time in history. Uh, you know, I mean, I try, I try my best, but uh, maybe, maybe next time I get five. I'm not sure how that one will happen. But definitely got to tell that to scouts as well. Oh, for sure, no doubt, no doubt. Who is the best quarterback you face in the Pac-12? Uh, probably Justin Herbert, just being able to uh, have ball placement, really throw wherever he wants, and just uh, yeah, that's uh, he's just a stud. That was the game. You led the nation in tackles. Do you still feel like you're underrated in some ways? <laughs> oh yeah, of course. I mean, you know, I feel like I feel like I'm I'm one of the top linebackers here, if not the top. And, I mean, it's not up to me. At the end of the day, we'll see you in like 10 years. So. Why do you think you're underrated? Uh, you know, I mean, it's just uh, it's just, it's just part of the game. Uh, playing in the Pac-12, uh, a lot of night games. A lot of people don't really watch a lot. And, uh, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to be able to prove myself on Saturday and be able to show everybody that you know this is this is West Coast football. And we're here to stay. Thank you very much. Yeah, 52 superlative plays you made. Which one was the favorite? Uh, you know, I'd have to say uh, Washington pick six, uh, junior year, just be able to beat the number 12, 12 team in the country. Um, just uh, unbelievable feeling, hometown team. So. Uh, 
uh, you know, it just a uh, just a uh, just a weird weird funny funniness about him. You know, he just he just kind of got has, has like those quirks. Hey, hey, bro, we love you, man. <laughs> yeah, no, he just uh, he just got got those quirks about him, and he just uh, he has a lot of funny one-liners. So uh, just something like that. What about your You know, uh. Uh, I mean, we we butted heads quite a bit, but uh, but uh, just uh, being able to being able to learn from someone and uh, having someone with with enough patience to, to not just teach me, but but the rest of the defense and kind of bring up the young guys. But does that come from the fact that you're a quick study and you, you've a lot of times taken over the Cal defense and made some great plays? Yeah. So a lot of, how much of that was just film study on your part? I mean, a lot of it's uh, preparation, film study, uh, walkthroughs. Uh, but I mean, I wouldn't be able to do it without the guys next to me. I mean, they, you know, without without all eleven guys on the field, you can't you can't make a lot of plays. You can't win a lot of games. So and, uh, again, that moment when we got the axe on the field, your dad there, people like me giving you a hard time. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, it's awesome. Uh, just to uh, just be able to bring it back for the Cal community. It's been a decade, and uh, just uh, just. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a feeling that money can't buy. Go Bears. Go Bears.